Okay, so, yeah, just to show that again. So, even when you're allowing feelings, don't, uh, don't make a, um, don't even call it feelings. Mm -hmm. Don't even call it, I mean, you could say it's not a feeling, it's an energy or a vibration. But even that, you don't need to label that. Because every word, when there's energy coming up, shall we say, when there's sensations coming up, as soon as you identify with a thought, it's trying to package that, that, that sort of formless form of energy, which hasn't actually got a form. As soon as you put a label on it, it starts to take that shape. And we don't want to be doing that. We want to be undoing it. We want to be undoing the form into the formless. So as the, as the labels come, as the names come for it, just let go of those labels and then let the energy just dissipate. Now, if you are just doing the feeling feelings, the main thing to know is as the thoughts arise to try and make a story about what's happening or to go into a story about the future or the past, as the thoughts arise, just detach from those thoughts and, uh, and cut the energy to those thoughts. Also, with, even if you're experiencing physical symptoms of things in the body, even just to say, like, I've got... Um, I've got a pain in the left side of my stomach. Well, that is such a strong label that already that's already creating what's there. Because we want to, as you're undoing energy, you're letting go of the labels and the form, forms that you're putting onto it. Mm. So it can then just be formless, and then you're allowing the formless to dissolve until it disappears into nothing, which it is. But as you keep putting labels onto it, you're allowing it. Even even location, even location. So if I say on my left side, that's a location. So then you're now creating the idea of location existing. If you say uh, like pain in my stomach, you're then creating pain in the, the label of that, that projection, that type of form that's uh, manifested in the collective is starting to take shape. So we're just dissolving whatever energies are there if you feel like there's various, you know, various energies in the body that are happening, if this feels like something in the solar plexus, well, the solar plexus says, oh, I feel something's wrong in my solar plexus. Well, even that, solar plexus is a label. As soon as you say solar plexus, um, that will create probably an image, that will create all the associations with the solar plexus and the story of the solar plexus, but actually you can let that idea go, even let go of the solar plexus as an area or a location and just allow it to be experienced, whatever vibration is there, and that will start to dissolve it away. So this process can dissolve any, anything because you're, you're letting go of the form and just allowing the energy to dissipate into nothingness. And that will dissolve that. If you're feeling like various sensations, there's two things. If you've got two simultaneous sensations occurring in the, in the body, for example, can either allow just sometimes the one that's most dominant, just let go of the labels and just let it dissolve away, and then the next one seems to pop up, and then allow that, the labels and the stories around that and the location to go, and then let that dissolve away. And bit by bit, you're allowing everything to dissolve away. That's in consciousness. If you dissolve something away, just let go of the story, let go of the location, just be with it, and let the energy evaporate into nothing. It's like something new may pop up. You know, you might have dissolved the energies in your stomach and then suddenly something occurs in your eyes. But then just allow that, that's now what's coming up. Just let go of the label, it's in my eyes, or my eyes are tired, and just dissolve that away. Also, while doing the feeling with feelings, it's good not to allow yourself to sleep or slouch. Don't allow yourself, try not to let yourself sleep or slouch, because that's the ego's way of going to sleep rather than letting things be experienced and dissolved into nothing. Mm -hmm. So if there's a thought like, a, you know, like uh, I just want to nod off and sleep because it's feeling peaceful now, but actually just let that go because if there's still stuff there, now's the time to, to let it dissolve away. If there's fear, fear is a label. If it's fear in the stomach, the stomach and the area of location is a label. Just let that go. As you dissolve these things, like if there was fear in the stomach, let go of fear. 
and just allow the energy to be felt out. And then stomach is also like, let go of the label location. Like as soon as you say that, then things start to feel like they're in location. If you let go of all labels of location, then it's just a diffuse energy in no location. You see, if you let go of the thing of like pain or, or breathlessness or whatever it is, that's just a vibration. No, it's not. And then as you do that, as you're with the energy, the locationless energy, it starts to dissolve, it starts to lose its texture, and it becomes more vaporous, and then eventually it dissolves into nothing, or something else may come up and it dissolves that. So we're going from form and labeling to nothingness, and emptiness, and stillness, or that which is limitless, beyond form, beyond location, beyond any kind of ex label that can make experience out of it. Even let, even if it, time is being experienced, let that label go. Time doesn't exist. Okay, let it all go. Okay, so let's do this now for um, about five or ten minutes in, in silence. And let's see, just use it, even if you're tired, don't let go of the label of tired and just dissolve that away. If there are thoughts of time, the future, just let those labels go. Just allow everything just to be experienced as an energy and dissolve and see if you can get into those states of infinite presence. <laughs> 